You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey folks, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2014. I am John P. And I'm Georgia. And we've got a very special guest for, with us today. Mark is here from Sharp. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How is this show treating you guys? It's really sharp, actually. Oh, uh, I see I what it. you did there. <laughs> no, it's really going extremely well. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we Excellent. have some great new products that we're announcing, and we've gotten great traffic. It's a lot of fun. Well, good. I mean, certainly, we, we come to CES for all the major updates, and we, we see a wide variety of folks. We see a lot of little guys, and then we see some of the big players. Uh -huh. And of course, Sharp is one of those that everyone's always looking towards, okay, what's going on this year? So uh, you guys get a lot of attention here. Yeah, we went. I went down to see the display. It was Did you? great. Thank you. Stunning. Awesome. Stunning. Really, really nice and packed. It was. It was so difficult to get <laughs> down. Go early, <laughs> and it was really. It was just packed with people ooing and eyeing over all of the TVs. Especially, uh, we're uh, showing uh, technology, 8K technology. I know, I, I was actually talking about that yesterday, and I was saying, uh, you know, and, and I want to talk about the kind of the new stuff that you guys are, okay. are, are announcing, but I, I had this crazy, you know, fear, let's call it, that we don't even have 4K technology yet, and we're looking at 8K technology, and when I think back, like, I don't remember, for example, when 720p was announced, we weren't like, showing 720p and looking at the new 1080p's before 720p's were even out. I mean, 720p's were, were out, and it took a while to get to 1080p, and then we've had 1080p out for a long time without 4K, yeah. and then 4K started trickling. 4K is like not out, and we're seeing 8K. Why don't we just skip 4K? Well, I think it's going to take a little while for 8K to develop, including the, the content to really uh, enjoy it, but it, it shows that Sharp is, uh, you know, not, not just thinking about today, and we certainly have a great lineup of products that we're going to be announcing, but we're really looking toward the future. And uh, 8K technology, we're, we're showing two different types. One is uh, regular 8K, which uh, if you know a little bit about pixels, uh, uh, 1080p is 2 million pixels, 4K is 8 million pixels, it's but 8K a, is 32 million pixels. It's exponential. So it's ridiculous. A of, that's a lot of pixels. That's a lot of pixels. That's a lot of chocolate. And it's it's so real and so dense that it's really like looking out a window. It's, it's like it's, natural. It's looking at 3D. something better than a window. Uh, Almost. Well, I don't know if we get better than <laughs> real life, but it's pretty It's even honest. better than real life. It makes real life look unreal. And then we're also demonstrating along with uh, our partners on this project, uh, Dolby and uh, mm -hmm. Philips. Glasses free 3D using the 8K technology. And it's, it's just really incredible. Wow. I will have to, I have to say, I've only seen it once. It's been a little while since I looked at it, but it was the kind of thing where when, when you look at 4K, you think, wow, that's really gorgeous. I mean, it's, it, it looks like her, it's gorgeous, you know? But then, when you, when you look at 8K. Can you train him, please? <laughs> when you look at 8K, you, you have to stop and like get all up in its grill, and you're like, what? That cannot, that is not even possible it's hard, it's startling. It's, it's not just gorgeous, it's startling. It is. And you know, your comment about getting up in the grill, you get right up to the screen and you cannot see the pixels. It's that dense, it's great. It's unbelievable. But we are, we're also announcing uh, two 4K televisions. Uh, we'll be refreshing our lineup. We have currently the, a 70 inch 4K, which is the industry's first uh, THX 4K certified television set. And we'll be expanding that to a 60 inch and a refresh on the 70 coming later in the year. So I've got a big 85 inch uh, Sharp hanging in my living room. Can I trade it? Can I trade that sure, in we'll maybe? Sure, trade in on that, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Get it traded. There you go. And, and how much would that go for? Uh, which one? 70. The 70 inch, it's uh, around $5,000. Oh wow, that's good. 5,000? good. I pay 5,000 for mine. <laughs> Technology marches on. Yes, yes. it does. Um, wow. Now, the, uh, one of the challenges with 4K is 
uh, content. So we have we have a, a problem with both capturing the content. Like right. we're we're only do we're not doing 4K cameras here. Oh really? And then I know. Can you believe we're so behind the time? <laughs> and then also uh, distributing the content. So you got the capture and right. distribution. Right. Uh, but it's like I think I want 4K, but I can't get 4K content. Well, number one, the product has a built-in upscaler. We call it a Revelation upscaler. You like how I set him up for that? I did. It was and uh, that was also part of the THX certification to see how it upscaled 1080p content. And I think you're going to see very shortly that there's going to be streaming services and. Uh, uh, I think Comcast just announced, not to plug them, but they're going to have some uh, 4K content that they're going to be. Uh, if you happen out to be lucky enough to be in one of those areas, yeah, yeah that'll be that's good. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So they're, they're, it's it's going to happen. It's but even happen. the upscaling technology, how good is it? I mean, I haven't oh, I seen upscaling to 4K, but in the, I remember in the past, like upscaling a DVD to 1080p, for example, yeah. it probably looked about 70% better than a than a DVD. Uh, well, I don't think it's, it's not quite to uh, resident 4K content, but it's, it does improve the picture and it, it looks great. Stop by and take a look at it. Yeah, I will do that. Oh yeah, you should. You and should. then uh, the other technology we're announcing is something we call uh, Quatron Plus. Um, Sharp launched about four years ago a four sub-pixel uh, technology, red, green, blue, and yellow. And using that panel as the, the foundation and then secret sauce we call revelation technology. It, we have the ability to split those pixels in half. So it takes a, that, that seems almost a 1080p picture and more than doubles the resolution of that 1080p picture. I, I, I can't even understand the type of technology that goes into being able to split the pixels it's I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, pixels are those little dots that make the picture, so we can make them smaller and oh. give you more resolution. Oh, that? okay. That, that works. No. I yeah. understand okay. that. That worked for John. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you got it. Yeah. She, she's way up here, uh -huh. and I'm yeah. kind of not. So, uh, no, but sharp, sharp panels, we have the ability to control the top and the bottom of the, of the sub-pixels. So, again, using that algorithm, that secret sauce. We <laughs> the can secret magic. Yeah, that's right. Revelation wow. technology. The one that you can't talk about. <laughs> That's right. What other? Let's talk a little bit. Have you seen any kind of changes to the smart, the smart functionality of the TVs? Because we're talking a lot about, you know, uh, density of the of the pixels and, and picture quality and stuff, which are very important. But also, what's important to me is uh, kind of one-stop shopping. I I want to get my Netflix and my this and my that all in my TV and. And, and have it be smart. So what's going on with that? Well, we're launching a new uh, Smart Central, as we call it, platform. And uh, we think it's uh, a big leap forward because you can pre-select, you just put in your zip code, and then it presents you with the carriers that are in your area, and you select which one you have. And then uh, it'll ask you which uh, streaming providers that you have, like Netflix or Hulu or whatever. And then it aggregates all the content based on uh, the content not based on the provider. So if you want to watch Batman as an example, you plunk, uh, type in Batman and all the places that you, you can watch Batman will come up. It then, doesn't care if it's Hulu or Netflix or somebody, broadcast TV. It's agnostic to where it's coming from. How's That's that work? I like that. You like that? Okay. Uh, and the, you, you're picking and choosing based on content, not nice. based on the provider. Because that is what we want. We just want to have the content. I want to watch a certain show and just say, is it there, and have it come up. So that's exactly what so we're looking for. So it might be on for. broadcast, but maybe you don't want to watch it that way. And it'll also show that it's on your Hulu service, and you can choose you to go that choice. way if you want. It's up to yeah, you. that's yeah. true. I really don't want to have to go log into Netflix and search for it, and it's not there. Then I log then, into Amazon Prime, and I search for it, and it's not. And then you log into who? That's just too much work. We're doing I just the work want to watch you. my TV. Like that. Nice setup. Yeah, we're doing the work for you. Good, exactly. good. That's it. But, but what about the controller? Are we going to have to type through all the letters to? That's well, a good you can question. do it on the remote, but that that does get a little tedious sometimes. Because it gets a little frustrating. Sometimes. How else can we do it? You can do it on your smartphone or your tablet. And uh, oh, is there do an it over app? Your network. Yes. An app that connects to the TV. Yes. And I can use like my iPad or yes. my Android tablet. Exactly. That yeah. makes me happy. Me likey. And you can do the remote control functionality we were talking about, and you can send content, photos, whatever. Fling it up there? And fling it over to your television set and then enjoy nice. it on the big screen. That which, is of course, cool. will be a sharp big screen. But yes. uh, of, of course. course, of course it will be. A, a sharp 4K big screen. <laughs> <laughs> 
and soon to be eight. <laughs> soon to be eight. 32 million pixels, yeah. Now, we see a lot of talk about these curved TVs. What are your thoughts on them? Uh, it's a very interesting technology. I think it's great that uh, manufacturers are you know, pushing the envelope to see what consumers uh, want to try. Um, right now, our focus is on picture quality and uh, the large screen experience. Uh, but if, that, if that's what the consumer wants, Sharp will, I'm sure, address that. But we're not showing that at this time. Nice. Okay, well, thank you so much for running down the current lineup with us and uh, keep us informed if there are any updates or Appreciate changes. Appreciate it. Uh, one, one quick feature that yes. I didn't mention. Uh, we, we also have something, it's kind of simple, but uh, it's a feature called uh, wallpaper mode. And when you have a 60, 70, 80, 90 inch television, when it's off, yeah, it's kind of a big black, a big black space, right? Thing on the wall. So wallpaper mode has some uh, uh, built-in classic artwork that we present in a very low power uh, consumption environment. And really it looks like a piece of canvas or like a framed picture. Just hang your like wall. I like that. I like that. And then you can load in, you know, your own personal photography as well, photos, family photos. Um, and it's not going to cause any burn-in. No, it's not gonna no, be any damage. Not. And it looks beautiful instead of just having a exactly. huge black screen that's taking up that's right. your entire wall. So it helps you. Uh, that is very cool. Nice environment. I yes. like that. And it's, it's very low power. Uh, about 10% of the power that you use to run your television. Okay. Set. So, That's oh, good. by Less the way, just bridge. before you before you go, uh, out of curiosity, something like the new 70-inch panels. I mean, are they are they getting more energy efficient than even a couple of years ago? I think my 85-incher is probably. I think it consumes around 200 watts when it's in full operation, yeah, I, if I, I recall I think correctly. ours are around, I'm not a tech expert, but I think around 150 watts. Okay, for like the 70 inch? 20, so, in, 20 dollars a year to operate, yeah, give or take, depending on the Yeah, it's not that model. much, I was just, I was just but curious. But that's an interesting point, because uh, currently the 4K TVs are not uh, Energy Star rated yet. Uh, but our uh, <clears throat> Quattro Plus technology is, and our entire lineup, other than the 4K, is Energy Star rated. Cool. All right. Cool. Wonderful. Great. What else? Uh, I don't know. We could go all day, but they're going to give me the whole wrap-up oh, okay. move on, you know. <laughs> so uh, you guys, well, check you. out everything that Sharp has going on over there on the website, sharpusa.com, if I'm not correct. Sharpusa.com, and uh, we just launched a brand-new website, so check it out. Which one? Oh, just, you mean that one's refreshed? It is, yes. Excellent. Yeah. All right, check it out over there, guys, and stay tuned. we got more live coverage here from CES. We'll be back with more shortly. <laughs>